Yo guys, Beast, back with some more Beastly content. Today we are going to be doing a guide over the five must-know cooking recipes. So, we're actually going to be starting with, uh, I do believe, the orange pie. And I'll show you that in a minute. Now, there are five ones we're going to be covering here. All sorts of different ones. One of the ones is going to be a Stardust Energy Drink. We're going to be covering every single ingredient location and everything so you can instantly get these made and the first one is a very important one for new players and anyone under level 50 being the orange pie now we're gonna get to that in a minute let's go ahead and find it on here now and there's also the canned seafood and oil that's another one to go ahead and touch on i'm not gonna actually show that one that's not the top five on the list uh, but the first one is the orange pie like i said canned seafood it's also a good one but you need more else so figure out how to get more else. I'll do a video on that in the future. But for now, we're going to go find bananas, apples, and grapes, as that is what the orange pie requires. It is an XP boosting item, 25% more XP gains. Super duper helpful when you are farming from your level 40 to 50, because getting a level 40 is pretty easy. Of course, you're going to be using this getting level 42, but uh, I digress. So here's the first spot, as you've seen, it was showing on the map there. Go ahead and just click this if you have to go back and watch the video uh, we just collected some grapes there there's another grape bush over here and another one way over there also a lovely apple tree let's go ahead and cut this thing down and we're going to be getting some apples out of the apple tree as well uh, once we put our you know logging chainsaw well bam got some apples right there plus one apple plus two apple plus three apple plus four apple tons and tons of apples as you can see the apples are no problem but if you need to farm more and you don't think you got enough and you want to make more of these all you have to do is go to the teleport tower that you literally just arrived at change your world and it will refresh all of the plants including all the apples and the grape plants here so super super easy you just got yourself 25% more XP, and all you had to do was go to this teleport tower. Now, there is one more. We do still got to get the bananas, so one more step here, one more teleport tower. Uh, this area is located in, I do believe, the Chalk Peak area, but do not be afraid of that. You can go to any of these areas at any level, and if you're driving in your vehicle and you drive straight to the tower, you should have no problem no matter what level you are. Do not worry now we are going to be heading on over into the broken delta area it is actually this teleport tower right here right next to deadsville right underneath it is a rift anchor as a marker and then there's also i believe like the middle school or something right beside it I'm not sure on what that settlement is but i believe that's what it is uh and once this loads we're gonna go ahead and check this out right here this is going to be where you are going to be farming your bananas super super easy literally as soon as you get here turn around and you're gonna see a whole bunch of banana trees cut them down and you're gonna get bananas for days no problem the bananas and the apples are the easiest part of the recipe the worst part about it is the grapes but once again these two teleport locations you got them all you got yourself a bunch of orange pie no problem 25 percent more xp earned as long as you use it every 30 minutes must know XP item, especially for the fact that this game is seasonal. And every single season, you're going to have to get to level 50. You're going to want to know about that item. Super, super important. Back to base now. Let's go ahead and cover our next one. There are four more must know cooking recipes. These recipes will help you out a ton and solve a lot of in game issues. No problem. Now, one of the cooking items I have in my inventory, so if you can guess what it is, actually, I think two of them, but that's a little bit even more of a spoiler. So I guess I'm also going to go ahead and tell you how to make salt. So all you got to do is go to any ocean area, and I'm going to show it on the map later, you know where the oceans are. Uh, collect the ocean water and take it to one of these cook stoves here, and you can just cook yourself up a bunch of salt. As you can see, we made a whole bunch. The next one was canned lunch meat. All you need is aluminum and any meat. And if you get yourself a lethal rabbit, which I transferred mine over from season, and I think I'm going to transfer them every single season. As a matter of fact, I think if I get multiple of them, that's going to be my main target things to transfer every season is deviations because... Farming the lethal rabbits, harsh. You just gotta skin rabbits until he drops. Also, I think after a certain week, there's either a hard or a pro mode on one of the side quests of a silo, and you can farm the lethal rabbits there, super easy. So, yeah, no matter what, you're gonna get one eventually. I will be releasing a video on how to farm the lethal rabbit easily uh, here soon. But, 
On to the next one, preserve deviated chops. So this requires this peppercorn salt, which I mentioned earlier. Just go to ocean places, collect some ocean water, and we're going to go ahead and check out the map on here. Like I said, go ahead and head to any ocean area. As you can see here, over here on this island, there's a teleport tower right beside the ocean. If you have this tower unlocked, great place to get yourself some seawater really, really quick to get yourself a ton of salt. You're going to need salt for a couple recipes. You definitely got to go collect yourself some seawater at least once. Get yourself a few hundred salt, and you should be good for life, honestly. You're not going to need it that much, but you do need a lot of it. So just get yourself some salt, no problem. Super easy to get. Might as well bulk up on it. No problem. Preserve chops, though. Peppercorn, salt, and any meat. Once again, Lethal Rabbit automatically collecting me some meat and some... Leather, I constantly got preserved chops. Anytime I need acid, I just go attack a walking bus, I go do a silo, I go do workshops, anything with preserved chops, you're going to be getting a ton of acid. This item is amazing. And the only main ingredient that you're going to be a little bit questionable on getting is peppercorn. However, there is a place where you can purchase both peppercorn and the seeds to grow more peppercorn. Super duper easy. On to the next one though, the Stardust Energy Drink. Purified water sugar aluminum and saffron so i'm going to show you where to get saffron really really easy you're definitely going to go to this area at some point just outside of theta actually if you just explore the fields by the roads you can get yourself some saffron as for the sugar sugar is made from beets there's a super super great spot that you can infinitely farm as many beets and beet seeds as well as a couple other crops infinitely to your heart's desire, so sugar's not a problem either. We're going to be making ourselves some Stardust Energy drinks today as well. We're also going to be showing you where to farm some saffron. Really, really easy. Just the easiest method of farming the saffron. Aluminum ingots. I think you know aluminum ingots. I hope to see in a guide on ores. So, you know, go watch a guide on ores if you don't know ores. But as you can see here, the Sanity Gummy is actually going to be on the list here today. Just something you really want to know. All you need is any type of water and salt. I, no, I think it's sugar. It might. I think it's sugar. Yeah. So say, that's the other thing. That's why you need beets. That's why beets are so OP. Is because you can make sanity gummies with them. I am aware that there's an ale you can brew in the brewing barrels that will make you like be able to take away insanity. But I kind of like more the idea of the uh, energy drink, drinking cowboy with the shotgun. You know, popping himself in insanity gummy every now and again to stay sane. You know, like. That seems more of my play style than, uh, you know, drinking an ale. Because I, I am not going to drink an ale. Ever. I don't think most of us are. But, here we go. Uh, what I'm doing here now, actually, is just going to be building a little bit of a setup and explaining to you how to get purified water. As you can see, all of those tanks down there have just been connected to water pumps pumping out dirty water. So, I just have a whole bunch of tanks of dirty water. So, I need to process all of them, so I'm going to need an osmosis purifier. However, I don't actually have the materials required to do that, so I'm going to quickly show you where to get saffron. So, saffron used for making energy drinks, the greatest thing in the apocalyptic wasteland there is. So, all you got to do is, you know, go right to Theta, the teleport tower by Theta, either or, you know, really probably the teleport tower. Drive around in those fields, usually I will just drive down the roads in this higher level area looking at the sides of the roads looking for red flowers because 9 times out of 10 if it's a red flower, it's a saffron. As you can see there though, we picked up a saffron there. These are not hard to farm at all by the way guys, I mean you literally just gotta go to these fields and you just gotta look for them. They just pop up kinda randomly in them and anywhere there's, you know, grass like this. Uh, as you can see, we're just outside of Theta. I suggest you going just outside of Theta and just following the road up and going around and you know, looking for saffron super easy as you can see i built my base right by theta this season because i'm running theta a lot lately you know getting my stuff up getting my calibrations up you know things like that the important stuff <clears throat> but as you can see here here is the spot for the beats and we're gonna go ahead and show how we got here uh because we are currently at the tall grass inn that is right in the tall grass inn there is an infinite beets and beet seeds farm as well as cabbages and pumpkins uh also technically mushrooms but it's like three mushrooms a run so not really worth it but the beets is amazing i'll go ahead and get ourselves some hydration solve our storage issues and that's another amazing thing about the car and it's really not an expensive purchase at all no matter how early you are in the season uh, to go ahead and unlock the four-wheeled vehicles because that unlocks the ability to craft the car and the car has a trunk 
with eight storage compartments so that's what we're going to be using here on this farm here just to get rid of some of the bulk material we have that was weighing us down that we didn't really need to be hanging on to you know we're trying to be able to actually run through here and do this farm without being over encumbered because being over encumbered trying to do this farm it is a very very slow farm definitely recommend not to be over encumbered but here we go we're gonna go ahead and reset the farm now as you can see some of you can probably already tell where we at we just ran all the way upstairs and then right behind the building back there there's a whole bunch of beets cabbage pumpkin you name it there's a ton of things so well, here we are at the teleport tower once again world switch and guess what all those beets all those beet seeds all those pumpkins and pumpkin seeds the cabbage and cabbage seeds all of that is still back there waiting for you to harvest it again as many times as you want that's right this is an infinite sugar farm super super easy infinite sugar farm i mean this is just amazing make all the energy drinks you want i'm gonna be playing a permanent double jump character soon because i'm going to make so many of these energy drinks now that i figured out how to farm the saffron i am trying to get a bunch of saffron seeds so that i'm actually able to grow the saffron at my base passively and maybe i can make like some sort of uh, energy drink factory setup with the uh automated crop stuff and things like that that would be interesting for me i think i think i want to do that actually uh but for now this is just you know showing you the top five items that you do need <clears throat> we all know what sanity gum does just figured i'd tell you the recipe for that uh if you don't know what sanity gum does it lowers your sanity which is basically this game's version of fallout's radiation so as you can see here though this beets farm is just amazing look at this just so many beets i've literally had 30 beet seeds before just by running this like two or three times you're gonna end up like a ton of beet seeds i have the gardener's gloves just so you know so uh, and if you don't know what that is it's a uh mimetic you can use it will increase the seed drop but as you can see here, we have our preserved deviated chops, our orange pie. And now we're going to go ahead and make the sugar that we are needed to finish off everything else here. And also peppercorn, we will be, uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, all you have to do is go to Blackfell, go to the vendor. The vendor is selling peppercorn seeds as well as peppercorn. Uh, you will need the energy links for it, but you can just straight go buy peppercorn every single week and be able to get your acid farmed up super duper easy. So we got preserved chops, orange pie energy drinks canned food insanity gummies <clears throat> and i'm thinking that's the five items so there we go so yeah this is five must have or must know cooking recipes in once human all of these are going to help you out a ton the orange pie is going to help with leveling preserved deviated chop is going to help with acid stardust energy drink gives you double jump also cures hydration so you know a nice city extra little thing there uh sanity gummy cures sanity i know there are ales i don't want to drink an ale i'd rather drink an energy drink and eat a gummy real quick and be good if you know what i'm saying <clears throat> but i do believe this is about the end of the video uh so go ahead and leave a like on it if you did enjoy it and keep it beast mode